Complementary feeding. Breast milk is the only food a baby requires in the first six months of life. At six months, breast milk is no longer enough. At six months, in addition to breast milk, start giving your baby solid and semi-solid foods which will help him or her grow well. Breast milk continues to be an important part of the child's diet, providing half of the nutrition requirements from six months to one year and a third from one to two years. However, as the child grows older, the nutrient requirements increase. The gaps to be filled by complementary foods also increase. These gaps are energy, iron, vitamin A gaps, among others. Introducing other foods to infants before the age of six months may lead to increased risk of illnesses such as diarrhea and respiratory infections. This is because other foods have less protective factors, are difficult to digest, increased risk of allergies and malnutrition. Introducing food too late may result in slow growth and development, nutrient deficiencies and malnutrition. Children 6 to 23 months should take a variety of foods to get enough nutrients, especially energy, vitamins, and minerals. You should give at least 4 out of the 7 food groups each day. Choose from the following food groups. Grains, grain products, and other starchy foods like millet flour for porridge and matoke. Legumes, nuts, and seeds like beans, ground nuts, and simsim. Dairy and dairy products such as milk and unsweetened yogurt. Eggs. Flesh foods like fish, poultry, and organ meat such as liver. Vitamin A rich fruits and vegetables such as pumpkin leaves, spinach, orange fleshed fruits like pawpaw, mangoes, or vegetables such as pumpkins, carrots, and the like. Other fruits and vegetables such as ripe bananas, oranges, cabbage, and green peas. Feed your child the right amount of food, the right texture and thickness, and the correct number of times each day as per age. Always observe hygiene during food preparation, cooking, feeding, and storage. At six months, give your child two to three tablespoons twice a day and be observant and know when your child has had enough. The food should be thick enough not to run off the spoon. Begin with staple foods such as millet, rice, etc. Continue breastfeeding frequently, day and night, and whenever the baby wants to. At seven to eight months, feed your child half a bowl or cup of 250 milliliters in every meal three times a day. Give mashed family foods. For example, in the morning you can give your child matoke, pumpkin leaves, and eggs. At lunchtime you can give rice, fish, and amaranth. Add a tablespoon of avocado to enrich the meal. For supper, you can give mashed ugali, liver, and spinach. Continue breastfeeding frequently, day and night, and whenever the baby wants to. At 9 to 11 months, feed your child three meals per day with a healthy snack in between. Give three quarters a cup or bowl of 250 milliliters at every meal. Give finely chopped family foods, finger foods, or sliced foods. For example, in the morning you can give your child porridge enriched with peanut paste and a small half piece of orange. At mid-morning, give a banana. At lunchtime, give pumpkin mixed with potatoes, beans, and spinach. For the evening meal, 
you can give ugali, minced beef and green vegetables. Give a piece of pawpaw or any other fruit. Continue breastfeeding frequently, day and night and whenever the baby wants to. At 12 to 23 months, give three meals per day with two healthy snacks in between. Give a full cup or bowl at a time. The child eats from the family foods. For example, in the morning you can give your child porridge enriched with simsim paste and a half piece of orange. At mid-morning, you can give an egg with bread. At lunchtime, give rice, dengu, pumpkin leaves and a melon. At mid-afternoon, give milk and bread. For evening, the child can have chapati, dengu and carrots. Give a piece of pawpaw or any other fruit. Continue breastfeeding frequently, day and night and whenever the baby wants to. When giving complimentary foods, always think of frequency, amount, texture, variety, active or responsive feeding, and hygiene. Remember to add energy or nutrient-rich foods such as groundnut paste, simsim paste, avocado, or oil to make your child's food richer. Also add micronutrient powder supplements to the child's food to prevent vitamin and mineral deficiency. Add a little iodized salt to your baby's food when cooking to make it tasty. Iodine is important for normal growth and prevention of general learning and understanding abilities. Give sips of safe drinking water once you introduce solids and semi-solid food to your baby throughout the day. Always feed your child with lots of love and patience as children need to learn how to eat. In addition, take your child to the clinic every month to know how they are growing. The health worker will give you more information on how to feed and care for your child. In addition, your child will also be given vitamin A supplements from six months and deworming tablets from one year and every other six months up to five years. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health and UNICEF in collaboration with other partners.